Hey guys, I do IT Abbott, and this is a Sunday review because I couldn't get this review out on Saturday. This is gonna be my review for Hellboy. So if you've not seen Hellboy, this will contain spoilers. Now, the thing that spiked interest in this movie for me was the immense amount of gore in the trailers, and that gore was doubled and flipped on its head in this movie. Um, it's really during the end where a lot of it's in, you know, monsters picking up people, chopping them in half, ripping them in half, in some cases sticking their hand inside of their, their head and then, like, crushing their head and then holding their body, throwing it around. It's extremely, extremely brutal, fun, gory stuff, um, which I'm f totally 100% fine with. If you are not okay with gore, you do not want to watch Hellboy. I'm going to tell right now, guys. Um, another thing is David Harbour as Hellboy is hilarious. He honestly pulls off, um, almost as good as, um, Hellboy as Ron Perlman, um, from the original movie. Um, and, you know, he does good. And, you know, when I see him, I don't necessarily see Hellboy when I hear him. I don't necessarily, or I, when I see him, I don't see him as Hopper, I see him as Hellboy when I hear him. I don't see him as Hopper, I see him as Hellboy. Or, I don't hear him as Hopper, I hear him as Hellboy. So, you know, he did a fantastic performance, you know? Um, the ending, we have a, basically like a, a setup for possibly a, another movie. I don't know if that'll happen after the, the epic fail this movie had, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, Abe Sapien was teased at the end of this movie. Well, not really teased. He's, like, fully revealed, pretty much, almost. Not not his, like, body. It's, like, his hand. Because the girl's like, what's that? And he puts his hand on the glass. It's it's pretty cool. That was a super fun way to, you know, end it off. And, you know, get Hellboy fans excited for a possible sequel. Now, whether that sequel will get, you know, made, I don't know. Because this movie has flaws, yeah, here we are, the bad. The story doesn't flow as good as it should. You would expect a movie about, you know, Hellboy, this big hyped up character that's, you know, been introduced at San Diego Comic Con um, years back. He would have a better movie, but, you know, the story is just so rushed and everything. It's just hard to find a little bit of a balance between action, mayhem, gore, comedy, all those different elements clashing together, and it makes the story sort of dry, in my opinion. It's a very dry story. Um, so yeah. Um, I did enjoy some of the characters. Um, like the girl, I honestly can't remember their names, because I was really just, I was just disinterested in it, really. Except for when he's shooting people in the head, or, you know, people are getting chopped up, and that's... Not a lot of the gore really happens, like I said, until like the third act, the final act. So yeah. Like, literally, like, the last 10 or 20 minutes is when that happens. Um, the guy was cool that turns into the, you know, the cheetah thing. The fight with him, with the other guy was cool. Um, <laughs> um, the dad of Hellboy was pretty fun, you know, to watch on screen. He's actually gonna be in, uh, John Wick 3. That review's gonna be out next Saturday. Um, I think I'm seeing Detective Pikachu sometime next week, so that may vary. Um, it's either going to be next Friday or the next, uh, or the following Wednesday after that Friday. Um, so yeah, this isn't nearly as good as Hellboy 2, and Hellboy 2 is not as good as Hellboy, the first one. So really, it's my least favorite of the entire Hellboy, you know, movies. Um... And it wasn't as good as everybody hyped it up to be. Like, I was extremely hyped for this film because of the trailers, the music that was used in the trailers, the comedy, um, the way it was edited and everything. But, man, it just... I just found myself really disinterested in it. And I honestly didn't care for it that much. I mean, it's not even... <sighs> it's one of my least favorite movies of this year so far. It's not a bad movie, but it's just not great. My overall final grade for this, and we're going to start doing this now as a regular thing, for Hellboy 2019 is going to be a C- minus because the story is dry, it was overhyped, um, not a lot of the characters outside of the three main ones are engaging, except for like the dad. 
Um, some of the action is cool, the gore is cool, but overall, like I said, the story is dry, boring at some points. I even found myself falling asleep at some of the exposition that the main villain was giving out. Even the main villain wasn't that, like, it wasn't, she wasn't that interesting to me. I'm gonna watch the original Hellboy, and maybe it'll soften my opinion of this by watching that. Um, so I can get a little bit more understanding, or well, a clearer understanding of the story, because I have seen the Hellboy movie maybe once or twice, but I'm gonna watch it a few times, once this week, and, you know, down the road, and maybe by the end of the year when I do my ranking video, you know, my opinion will change. Um, but, you know, we won't know until then whether my opinion has changed this movie. For right now, it gets a C- minus in my book. So, thank you all very much for watching. I'm sorry I got this out a day late, but this was my review for Hellboy 2019. I gave it a C-. Um, honestly, is it worth checking out? If you are like a hardcore Hellboy fan, I would.